Hello, I'm Joanne Magnuson. I'm uh, the uh, U.S. Director of Christian Friends of Yad Vashem, which is a joint project of Yad Vashem, the Memorial to the Holocaust and the Holocaust Education Center in Jerusalem, and the International Christian Embassy Jerusalem, which um, is the co-sponsor of this project. Uh, we were all Christians who have worked together with our Jewish friends for many years to build Jewish-Christian understanding and to rebuild Jewish-Christian relations in the aftermath of World War II. Um, we're, um, I'm an American, and as an American, I've been studying the Holocaust for over 30 years. I'm old enough to remember World War II and the shocking newspaper and uh, news real uh, films that came out showing the piles of bodies, and I thought, how could this have happened in a world where people believe in God? And I've spent my life trying to figure that out. I don't know that I've actually figured it out, but I'm still working on it. But one thing I have discovered, I am an evangelical Christian. I grew up in that tradition, and I'm still a member of it, and I, it's my belief system. But I think we sometimes, because we live in a Judeo-Christian world, and in a place where Jews and Christians do share um, a sense of equality, uh, we forget that even in our better traditions, we do share some responsibility of what happened in the Holocaust. And while it's easy to blame the medieval Catholic Church and the Passion Plays and the uh, Crusades and the Inquisition and all of that, uh, yet after World War II, it was difficult for many Christians to realize what had gone on and what was going on. And we who are Protestants need to remember that some of the uh, best work early after the war was done by the Catholic bishops and that we haven't done much to restore dialogue even though most of us are pro-Israel we often don't really know our Jewish neighbors and we don't understand why we make them nervous and we would like to help you understand that we would really like to talk with our Christian friends and help to explain some of the steps that have led us into this situation again here we're at the National Religious Broadcasters Conference, and there's a lot of passion for Israel here, and I'm so glad for that. I take Christian groups to Israel several times a year. I believe in tourism. But sometimes we forget that we do own a share of the background. We, knew, we need to uh, understand that the uh, whole idea of anti-Semitism uh, didn't go away uh, with the Reformation, and that even modern Protestant Christians from evangelical, Pentecostal, charismatic backgrounds today do inherit some anti-Semitic ideas. And there are people within our circles who do believe when someone says, who killed Jesus, instead of saying what Jesus said, which is, I came to die, that was my mission. We say, well, of course, the Jews killed Jesus. Uh, those, those ideas have to be re-examined. We have to look at the scriptures. We need to look at the Gospel of John carefully and see why it makes our Jewish neighbors nervous. We, we need to get over saying simply, well, my denomination never did anything like that. Everybody loves Israel in my church. And we need to learn to say, what is it that's making our Jewish friends concerned? And listen before we speak, because as we begin to listen to one another, we'll understand a lot more. So we at the International Christian Embassy and the Yad Vashem Project would really like to be able to come to your church to your neighborhood, to talk about this, to help you learn how to talk about it in a way that's really healing and constructive. So thanks for this opportunity to share these ideas with you. God bless.